In this equation, we are trying to figure out what is the value of x. But notice in this equation, we have two x terms, one on the left hand side of our equal sign and one on the right hand side of our equal sign. So the first thing that we have to do is move one of those x terms to the other side of the equal sign and combine it with the other x term. What we are going to do first is because we have a positive 5x on the right hand side, we are going to do the opposite of that which is to take away 5x. That way they will both cancel out on the right hand side of the equation. We must do the same thing to the other side of our equation in order to balance our equation. And we are going to subtract 5x from 12x because they are like terms. 12x take away 5x is 7x. And we still have plus 3 on the left hand side of our equation. And on the right hand side we still have 31. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to eliminate the plus 3 on the left hand side by doing the opposite which is to take away 3. Opposite integers will cancel each other out to be 0. To balance our equation we have to subtract 3 from the other side. And 31 take away 3 is 28. And on the left hand side we still have 7 times x remaining. Now to get rid of the 7 we have to do the opposite of multiplying by 7 which is to divide by 7. And we have to do the same thing on the other side of our equation in order to balance our equation. On the left hand side we can cancel out both 7's because anything divided by itself is 1. And that leaves us with 1x on the left hand side of our equation. And on the right hand side of our equation we have 28 divided by 7 which is 4. So now we know that x must be equal to 4. Just to make sure we can plug 4 into the left hand side of our equation in for this x and we can plug 4 in for this x on the right hand side of our equation. So we're going to start with 12x plus 3 and we are going to substitute the number 4 in for x. 12 times 4 is 48 and if we add 48 to 3 that would give us a total of 51. Now let's plug 4 in for x on the right hand side of our equation. We have 5x plus 31. We're going to substitute 4 in for x, so now we have 5 times 4, and then we add 31 after multiplying 5 times 4, and 5 times 4 is 20, and 20 plus 31 is also equal to 51. You can see that after plugging the value of 4 into both sides of our equation, that we come up with a value of 51, which means that we must have done the problem correctly.